Welcome back, everybody, to the game! The only game show where you just lost. Now, Mr. Winkle Dinkleopolis, you have one more question to go before becoming the next gamist! Oh my god! Here goes. What is the best way to support Please Stop Talking? I would like to use a lifeline and call my wife, Mrs. Winkle Dinkleopolis. Alrighty! Hello, this is Mrs. Winkle Dinkleopolis. Hey, you toots, it's your husband, and I'm on the last question on the game. I gotta know what's the best way to support. Please stop talking. Don't fuck this up for me, baby. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, uh, I think it might be their Patreon, yeah? You think so? Yeah, because you can send them money in exchange for rewards like naming an NPC or telling storytelling and asking a question for the patron Q&A. But what about their merch store, pleasestopshopping.com? I really think you should try www.patreon.com slash music puddin'. So, Mr. Winkle Dinkleopolis, is patreon.com slash music your final answer? Yes. Well, I'm happy to say that you're the next game is! Holy fucking shit! I can't believe that Punk Duck is moonlighting as a police psychic. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you're uh, you're what? saying I'm the bald chick from Minority Report? Is be that like, who I am? I can I'm, feel I'm, it. I'm living I can in the feel bathtub. It. I can feel it. You're, the corpse I'm, is very the precog. person missing. And Isn't they're it, sad. Wait, wasn't it? That's, that, Brandon, that's literally the, the plot of Minority Report. The ghost is fondling report. my balls. That's, they're sad. This is it. <laughs> You're just missing Tom Cruise running. No, isn't there? Isn't Minority Minority the Report the one the where ghosts. there's like a bunch of billiards? Billiards? Minority there's Report is no, the reason. They, no, that's minority, the thing. The, minority, the police ghost. Minority Report is the reason that Ed's going to get canceled. No. There's a bunch no. of balls. Fucking listen. I need to talk about there's Minority balls, Report. There's balls, bro. There's the ghosts? No, shut the fuck up. The police own psychics that are swimming in like evil within two bathtubs. <laughs> and then some... Yeah, basically, and then they go murder, and then balls yeah, come out of their what, organs, and they yes, and they roll is, into Tom Cruise's dude, digital I'll hands. Fuck, this is not real. What's You're worse? This up. What's worse? What's worse? Fucking shitting out a murder ball or having a fucking what? What's it called? Imagine you have to piss imagine out if, Cruise. No, you have to piss out a fucking salt thing. A fucking what? Kidney That's stone? not Minority Report. Like, I mean, yeah, what's worse, kidney stone or shitting out a murder ball? Oh, I don't, I, I don't know if they're actually shitting it out. The ball just shows up. I assume it comes out of their brain. Imagine they, if those people fucking... got fired and they had to reuse them. Oh. They could use them for the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, that's, again, this is also the plot of Minority Report. Tom Cruise kidnaps one of them and then uses her to find the guy who killed his son. Why, is it, why doesn't he use her for the winning lottery numbers? He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> like, you could make so much bank off is a psychic. Everybody, is everybody recording right I'm now? I'm recording, yeah. Yeah, I recorded okay, yeah I'm recording. Uh, okay. Yeah. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Tom Cruise, you're a short fucking hack. Oh, uh, no. Now Scientologists are going to come after us in the comments. Let them come. I hope when Scientologists finally catch me, they plate me in gold and bury me in the desert for future generations <laughs> to find and worship. <laughs> I just want to be buried in the Dude. desert. Let's be real here. Uh, there are people who that are like, yeah, like just feed time. me to the wolves, but I want to be embalmed in gold and placed into that's, the desert. That's an Egyptian that's the fuck fucking, way to go. That's, the, that's what Nick Cage is doing. Nick Cage it's, bought a pyramid. Hell he yes. Did? No way. No, yeah. Nick Cage bought a pyramid and he's going to be buried in it when he dies. Like, we how big of a Harry Potter talking franchise? About? Are we talking about the, as big as the Las Vegas pyramid or what? I don't know how big it is, but I do know for a fact that he bought a pyramid. He also got in yeah, trouble for real? stealing a dinosaur skull that he later had to return. Okay, but is where did he real? get it, though? I don't think he stole it. I think he bought it from, like, a dealer not knowing it was yeah. stolen and had to return it because it was stolen. Yes. Okay, that but sounds what more the fuck? accurate. First question yeah. is, who are fossil dealers? Like, where do you even find those? Yeah, who, where the... We <laughs> just find them behind the Kmart. Where do you find... Yeah. Behind the Kmart? Behind the Kmart, yeah. What? Dude, Kmart, I need to get my hands Kmart on a stick of leg. I mean, to be honest, Kmart is a fossil. If you're behind a fucking Kmart, you can find anything. You get, you get the fossil dealers in your, local, in your local Kmart right now. You get the fossil dealers behind the Kmart. You get the crack cocaine dealers behind the Denny's. And you get the balloon dealers behind the Waffle House. It's, it's all common knowledge. The balloon dealers? I mean, hey, some people can get high off helium. I, th I think we should make it oh, illegal. Oh, right, yeah. 
Is <laughs> laughing yeah, gas legal? Yeah. I mean, not like to just do casually. You can't just get it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, let's come on. Ed, have you seen the Joker? Oh, have true. you guys? Yes. People have might think ever... I have a mental disorder. He never, he never once went to a he hospital a disorder from and bought from... laughing gas from the hospital no, gift please. shop. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I know the Joker <laughs> was the gift. shittiest movie I've ever seen. I'm go hey man, I'm going I'm going to the hospital. You want me to bring you a souvenir? Oh yeah, just bring some laughing gas. Can you give gas, me a couple dude? canisters of laughing gas, a syringe filled with mysterious liquid and a bone saw? I'm just gonna be having some fun later. You gotta give me some like of that. Ninety percent of Joker's plans though, oh I'm gonna replace the water with laughing gas. I'm gonna replace the water supply with gas. Yeah, but it's like poison that laughing sound gas. Too bad. So it like kills you. So every uh, everybody or? laughs until they they piss and shit out their organs or something. Yeah, shit. It's like I think it's more like the yeah. blood vessels. You laugh so hard, the blood vessels in your brain start bursting. It's like instant aneurysm. Is that how it works? Yeah, it's like aneurysm can in a can. Die? Is it actually possible to die of laughter? Yes. Yeah. 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 Hundred totally. percent. You can die of fucking huh. anything. Well, because you, like, you, know, pre, you could have a pre an overdose of condition. Can kill you. You could have a pre-existing condition, a, and then the laugh can set you a, over. And you asphyxiation, can, I guess. No, not right. It, no. You won't you won't asphyxiate from laughing. I'm saying like the stress from laughing can set off like a pre existing condition. Like let's say if you have a heart condition or <laughs> if your brain big hurdy, it can set off a heart attack, it can set off a brain attack, it can set off a cock attack, but yeah. it, it's not gonna kill you because you can't I just, stop laughing. I just I, I I googled death from laughter and there there's just like a picture of a of a Greek statue that says Chris 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 Sippus Chrysippus of Chris Soul allegedly, yeah, Chrysippus of Soul allegedly died of laughter after witnessing a donkey eating his figs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. It's uh, fig time, baby. <laughs> yeah, he fucking, he, he went into cardiac arrest. <laughs> See, but saw, like I said, he saw a donkey like eating said, figs, dude. Heart attack, brother. <laughs> heart so, attack. That's so fucking crazy. I hope I die laughing. First recorded man like in history died of donkey. <laughs> Not even no, just I'm pretty sure you can, you can probably get. I'm pretty sure donkeys are bastards. Go. They've probably killed people. Oh, they absolutely do. Oh yeah, yeah. Donkeys are like fucking kangaroos. You seen those legs? They fucking they fucking kick. kick your chest in. What's yeah, they're the, nuts. Uh, in this case, was the donkey the murderer? Yes, or were the figs the murderer? Oh, because he died of the him figs were the tool. No, yes. no, this is all part I of would, his plan. Don't you get it? I wouldn't say he was the murderer because mm, I don't know. If he was Listen, baiting he him got, into seeing him, then maybe he got pushed over a line and said, "That's it. I'm going to eat these figs." That's it. I'm eating these figs. You're going to fucking laugh at it. You're going to pay. <laughs> I'm going to be real. If I saw a donkey eating my figs, I'd I'd, I'd chuckle. Minimum speaking chuckle. Of, <laughs> speaking of donkeys eating figs, y'all got grinder stories? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but yeah. What the fuck was that? Yeah, that was a great. Know, well, just, I mean, I'm that was just, a great transition. I'm, are you yeah, sure? Yeah, I about don't know. That? I found it. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I I, found... I, today, I'm on David's side. That's that's the plan today. Oh, today, actually, if God. the transition was in reference to that one Steve Crowder shirt, then that was a genius transition. What? <laughs> Which <one>? Oh, <laughs> uh, nice one, dude. <laughs> very, that is very David, you are a genius. Um, you prepared this script and executed it perfectly. Thank you. I, <laughs> I, I, I actually took a few liberties from the script that Avery sent me because he's the one that writes all these jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Cameron's the one that... Cameron does the first draft. We yeah. scrap everything he Oh, writes, yeah. By the way, listeners, we... the Maddie McCann joke that I make in about 40 minutes, that was also written by Avery. I take no responsibility. <laughs> Man, I hope you remember to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got the script. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Why would Avery write Speaking in the script scripted, you reminding me? Oh, that's kind of fucked. Speaking of scripted <laughs> events. <laughs> anybody want to speak of quick time go events? With their Hang on, I'm checking the script. I mean, the topics oh chat. Oh, right. Oh, well, I'm fucking stupid. You ask it. Do you guys have any grinder stories? I checked the topics that's chat. All I wrote, wrote down wrote is grinder story. <laughs> and nice also because I know Boo has a, Boo has a fucking grinder story. Wasn't I that's supposed why. to go first? Yeah, yeah, you can go first. Things tend to derail when you like. So what's with yeah. no? Nah, fuck what's it. With this no podcast. Why no, is this Boo, podcast you know so what? fucking gay? Let's do it alphabetically. Go ahead. <laughs> no, come on. I'm a guest. Come on. 
We all know what happened That's last time. That's how it's supposed to be. We all know what happened last yeah, time I was on here. It was, it was shit cast. Like, come on. Was it? It yeah, was. Yeah, but the... Don't worry. Yeah, if, it the thing is, if it gets yeah. too far yeah, to the left cast. or too far to the right, I mean, uh, I'm listen, here to make things I'm going to be honest. It's going to be a while till I top that story. Don't okay. worry. We're listen, talking like in, in a case, year. Listen, just in case, you can go first. Okay. I don't want to well, avoid that omen. My grinder story happened when I was in college. And oh, in co- did you have a gay phase in college? No. My whole <laughs> life's a gay phase. But Oh, I get you. I am... In retrospect now, I'm genuinely surprised that I was in college for about four months and I have so many stories about it. That's because college is fucking eventful. Yeah, especially your first At least year it of was college. For me. Yeah, you, you just see... You, it's because of the fucking huge transition from mm. being the child of your parents to becoming a fucking degenerate. And it's also the, the everybody's first... And this is the advice I got. Because at first I was like reluctant to meet like all these fucking no. new people. But then I got this advice like, hey, everybody's on the same boat as you. Everybody that's here right now knows nobody. So just f- if you start talking to someone, they'll most likely just like not act weird. They'll just go, oh, thank God. Somebody that I- wants to talk to me. Yeah. So everybody's just trying to be their least amount of weird and try to look normal. But like the moment they get drunk, they just go like, bro, I fucking love Vocaloids. <laughs> Oh, dude, bro! I fucking love Domino's Atsune Miku app. I still have it. <laughs> you know, I had like delisted. a, I had like a, I had like a thing written down, and it was how long is it going to take David to bring up Domino's Hatsune Miku again? No, no it's all written on the way. script. Remember? Yeah, yeah. no, <laughs> right on the script. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Just read. Just wait. <laughs> right, right here, dude. It's like it's right there. David, Hatsune how, Miku. How enamored what? you are with the Domino's Hatsune Miku ad. And, yeah, I and, just honestly, ever since it got discon- d- delisted, I've been trying, dude. <laughs> it's just so fucking weird. Why Domino's? Anyways, Ed, Ed keep continue. going. I mean, now what? I want to know about the app. What is it? Like, this is Hatsune Miku selling have, you pizza? No, it's Papa no. John posing with Hatsune Miku and you order No, pizza it's not Papa it. John. It's Domino's. There was just oh, a Domino's. Domino's Hatsune Miku collaboration. That's literally it. There was a Domino's Hatsune Miku collaboration, and that's it. Nothing crazy. Oh, there's no app? was awkwardly posed. He was no. There was an app. There was like a little. What is, what is there the was a little do? hologram app that would like have Hatsune <laughs> yeah, dance it was on a like pizza an, or something. Yeah, it, it was like if you ho- if you opened a, a, a one of those pizza things, there would be like a QR code or whatever, and if you used your phone and you put like you use your camera on the QR code thing. Hatsune Miku would pop up and just like damn, she, she got some gang- greasy she, feet. Yeah, she she would start dancing and singing Gangsta's Paradise, <laughs> and like then she would she, she then she would burst in flames, and you could eat your pizza. That, can that be the thumbnail, please? <laughs> Hatsune Miku pizza delivery man. <laughs> Sir, you're obsessed. I gotta keep dressing all of our employees like Hatsune Miku. Get the blue wigs. (laughs) Get oh, dude. This is Miku pizza now. When you go to out, out, I mean, fucking anime conventions, you just see all these fucking dudes, like these sweaty motherfuckers with those caps that are just like the ponytails of Hatsune Miku, and they just walk around and slap everybody constantly. Uh, it's actually constantly pigtails. When I, went to, when I went to Nebraska, on, when I went to Nebraska, on, it was just a sea of overweight men dressed as Misty from Pokemon, like 50 to 60 of them. Good. So, you, could hear the, yep. you could hear the wheezing from outside. The convention you could. You, it, it, the <laughs> smell. It, the worst was the smell. The smell. It permeated the air like a bad cheese pizza. Ed, you were talking about college being an interesting <laughs> experience. I was speaking about an interesting experience. Why don't you continue your interesting experience for me? Well, um, so as I was saying, this uh, this little bad boy happened in college. So you were born in college? No, oh, no, no. I call no, you no, this no. little bad boy. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! You are mistaken. <laughs> but uh, I'm setting the stage because okay, this is the context that it's that is needed. Um, back in college, I made this video where it was just one of those Q and A vids, and somebody asked me because like multiple people were asking me to make fucking different social media. Like, oh, why don't you have an Instagram? Why don't you blah blah? blah. 
And then every time I would get a question, I like as a joke, I would make the account instantly like live. And then somebody asked me like, you know, as a joke, do you have a grinder? And I just went, yeah, I do. And then I just, it was just like a one second gag, but I actually made an account for it. So Did basically you I made pictures of yourself on grinder. No, I just made an account. I called it oh. punk duck and I just had a grinder account, but for fun, I was like, I'm just going to start using it and see what happens. Got a <laughs> lot of dick pics. Um, yeah, of course. That's, you'd be, that sounds, I don't know if that sounds, sounds surprising, right. but like, no, yeah. Okay. It's not surprising. Yeah. No, it's like not. you literally, it, it, you it, either get conversation grinder is well known. You either For get conversation being, initiated with a dick pic or you get conversation initiated with, hey, handsome, and you go, hey, it's up. And then he just sends you a picture of his cock and he goes, I'm hard. What about you? And I went, no. Oh, all right, cool. <laughs> I'm at the I'm grocery just store. <laughs> I'm just this trying, is an app I'm on my phone. I'm trying to engage in discussion. <laughs> what are you up to? Oh, I'm just, I'm just using the Domino's Hatsune Miku app to fucking virtually have Hatsune Miku singing <laughs> Gangsta's Paradise, dude. It's fine. She's dancing on my pepperonis. I want to dance on you? your pepperonis. Hey, here's a picture of my cock. And there you go. That's and the, half and my then Hatsune Miku. Yeah, and Hatsune Miku's on your cock. Yeah, Hatsune Miku's on my balls. Yeah. I, stopped, I, 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 I filtered out for one second. We're already talking about Hatsune Miku and cock. All right. <laughs> Listen, this is a Listen, yeah, I need a Hatsune Miku grinder this is why. This is why I just... I, when I, when I, when David's like, Hey, do you want to record? I'm like, I'm going to be the dad today. I'm just going to put my foot down and be Brenda. I mean, it, I, it, it's only fair. Cause I was the dad last time. It's okay. I'll be, I'll be a hearty during, dad during, stew. During your fucking stream. <laughs> I was the dad. I'm sorry. Please I get drunk Kiba. really freaking easily. I apologize. It was my birthday. <laughs> yeah. Your birth today. My birth today. You only yeah. had like two shots of vodka. I had though. four shots of vodka. Okay. Hey, he, he kept no. He kept he you kept stealing. Water all over he kept stealing it two, from. Though. I did. I did. I got a little wet. I got a little wet. It's okay. He kept stealing the vodka bottle from Shelby. I did. And she she got upset. He did. I'm a I'm a nightmare. I don't drink. So. Anyways, Ed, about dick pics on Grinder. <laughs> yeah. yeah I was just gonna let this keep going. No, I want to hear about dicks. Uh, but yeah, I, I was getting a lot of dick pics. And I was just like using it for fun. Uh, I can't remember my username for the life of me. But yeah, and then. I noticed that a lot of uh, people didn't have profile pictures, which is weird. I don't know. I don't know why that's even allowed, especially for like dating apps. I'm pretty sure a profile picture is like required. Uh, but a lot of these dudes just had like default mode. Um, so whenever I would either initiate or get initiated by con- or, or like reply to a conversation, it would always be a guy with a profile picture mm. and uh, just Really? Long story short, um, one of my flatmates was on there, and oh, my user, oh. I just remembered, my username was not Punk Duck. My username was just something, because he knew that my alias on the internet was Punk Duck. I'm pretty sure, what was my username? I think it was Cock Garage. <laughs> I want to say it was Cock Garage. That's a fucking metal band name. <laughs> yeah, it's and, a fucking um, grindcore band. He, was, he just started talking to me, and then I was... And then uh, I checked his profile picture and I went, that guy looks really familiar. And that's when I realized that Grinder actually uses people that are near you. Yeah. And it was just one of my flatmates. And he was very, and you just found some. To, to this day, he has no idea, soon. but I have seen his shaft. Oh, did he? Wait, did he? Was he one of the wait, shaft he boys? One of the, All of them were shaft the- boys, David. It was Grinder. <laughs> Oh, nice, dude. I literally, ju- he just said, hey, hey, stud. And I was like, yo, what's up? And then he just fucking just picture of his cock and balls. Like, which just, <laughs> what are you doing right now? Gaming? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What about you? I mean, what year was that? Fucking 2016, I want to say. Playing Kingdom Hearts. I'm installing Fallout 4 or something. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? <laughs> Damn. Damn. It was only Talk after the cock and me. balls that I noticed the profile picture and like I enlarged it and yeah, just one of my flatmates and now it makes sense why uh, pressuring him into like getting with some chick at parties just wouldn't work. Damn. It'd be the way it do be. But did you pressure him to getting into some guys at the party though? I mean, I, I mean, after that I knew, but like the thing is I couldn't, he was very clearly like hiding it from everybody and I couldn't suddenly be like, Hey, that guy's hot. Without him being like, how do you know? I am Cock Garage. (laughs) (laughs) 
Maybe he still remembers. No. Maybe what he if he still asked me like, "How co- do you know?" And I just pull up a picture of his cock and balls. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's still out there thinking about Cog Garage and being like, I, man, I really wonder what yeah, he was Yeah, that up was to the that one night. that got away. Yeah, the one that got away. Cock Garage 96. I'll never meet another man that likes Fallout 4. <laughs> <laughs> tragic. Speaking of tragic. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, that was my grinder story. Yeah, that didn't use it much, really. It was mostly like just, hey, I'm going to see a bunch of dudes' cocks. See if there. See, I wanted to see if there was like one guy that I could talk to without seeing his penis, but mission failed. For the most part, when I was using dating apps, it's mostly dick pics, and then the odd one dude that just talks to you, and it's fucking awkward as shit. Oh, if we're gonna make this about dating apps, I got plenty of those, but I want to hear Boo's grind grinder story first. I also oh, yeah. do. Okay, okay, this is gonna be all right. So. This isn't as late as Ed's story. This is sometime last year, like around okay. like August or July before I even met David. So, yeah, I wasn't really looking for a relationship at the time, but I want to try new things. Get out there and have a little quick hookup. See what it was like, because I mean, when you go to Grinder, what else do you fucking expect? Like you get you're putting yourself out there. Hoagies. So, so, you're, so you went love. into it knowing Hoagie. it would just be like <laughs> casual sex. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Dude, when I okay. when I'm on Grinder, when I'm on Grinder, I'm just they send me a dick pic. I'm like, so it's gonna be a number nine large. <laughs> what? I want, I want a good, delicious sandwich, please. Can I have a Can I have a Philly cheesesteak? Here's my address. Yeah. Yeah. When I got a When soda. I got a dick pic, I replied with, "Bro, fix fix matchmaking." <laughs> <laughs> he showed me his balls. I was like, "When are you gonna implement rollback net code?" <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I sign up for Grinder, make my profile and whatnot, and just like browse for a few days. There's nothing but a bunch of grody looking grandpas and creepazoids. Cause like I'm in the middle of up na- upstate New York, right in between Buffalo and like some of the other cities. So you know you're kind of deprived of options. But eventually, I did see this one guy. Like he he actually messaged me. Like that's the thing. Like nearly every single message I got, people were messaging me. For some reason. Yeah. Same here. Someone, and he looks somewhat decent. I was like, well, all right, let's, let's see where this goes. So we were like talking for a few weeks, like for a couple of days and like it, it started talking, you know, doing a grinder thing and you message back and forth or whatnot. And we wanted to arrange a meeting. What's the grinder thing? I'm got, I got you lost me there. You know, dick swaps. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, dude, come on. What do you expect? I mean, they're, they're, Anyways, okay, we, we got to specify here. Did you say dick swaps or dick swabs? Dick Those swaps. are two dick very swaps. different things. Let me send you, let me send you a tissue dumbass. sample and you can examine it and see if I'm a worthy mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking That's hate a, that idea. That's a pickup line. That's I've fucking awful. <laughs> David, I'm going to use that on you someday. Anyways. Yo, yo bro, uh, you swab? Why did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're going to fucking cut it anyway. Who cares? <laughs> Anyways, no, I don't cut anything anymore. I'm above. Th- I'm not above anything. Are you sure about that? Yeah. We'll f- okay, we'll see. So as we do the grinder thing, dick swamps and whatnot, getting the no- getting <laughs> getting information and whatnot, and eventually we try to arrange a meeting for like like we kind of like schedule up. So we had to like do it for a few weeks. So in between that time, he would uh he would like message me some stuff, and he occasionally mentioned that he has a sex swing. So, Hell yeah! Like, what does that mean? Oh my god! A sex swing? Oh, okay. Sex swing? You don't know what a is sex a device. swing is? A sex yes. swing? Is is that a device? Is that you, a, it's a device yes. that you fuck on? It's it's sex swing. No, it's actually okay. So it's like Amazon it's like a bestsellers. Swing. Se- oh yeah! yeah. Oh it's my just, god! It's just nothing Continue. but yeah, it's like, ramshackles. It's like this. <laughs> it's like uh. It's no, basically a swing, a swing that you, the, the bottom sits on and the top is like <laughs> fucking, I guess. I mean that technically, yeah, but this time he had a full on stand and everything like it was weird. A what? A stand for it. Like it was like a soul stand. Like he didn't hook it up to the ceiling. It was just like fucking standing by itself. It was like a designated <laughs> sex swing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Was it? Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, so Aren't like they all designated. 
I got yeah, but now I thought of like, what else can you use a sex swing for? Like, you're not going to use it like an appliance. Oh, you like can use it like a there. hammock. Is what what you do? Yeah, yeah. Just, just you and your partner's I mean, sex life seems, gets stale, so you just freaking put it in a pantry. It kind of seems fun to just like swing around. You don't have to have sex on it. You can just like, oh, what's that? Using my, sex, continue, using my sex continue swing while finishing the, Ender's game. The Fifty Shades of Boo, please. Oh why? <laughs> why? 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 David, why? <laughs> what the fuck, man? What hey, the fuck? in case David doesn't cut this, he just posted a man's balls. Oh, I didn't see it. Thank goodness, I missed that. No, he was he was swinging and having a good time. Was he though? I mean, I don't know. He, he looked so he bored. He pretty happy about it. I know. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to rank Anyways. that section one out of five stars. Anyways, I was a little, <laughs> that was a little bit weirded out at first because like, oh, what the, what the fuck is this? But eventually like, hey, you know what? I'm also trying new things. Why not? And that was the first red flag. A few days later, he brings up another thing that he does. And he mentions that he has like a leather mask. Huh. Oh god. Or something huh. like that. Specifically those fucking neoprene ones that look like a fucking dog head or something. Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah. This is just oh, gonna turn into the Bruce Willis chapter in Pulp Fiction. I can already tell yeah. where this is going. Yeah, you fucking joke, but yeah, hold oh. on. I, I gotta find a picture of this. No, I know exactly what it looks like. I, it, for some I'm reason, I'm still recovering really from that guy's balls and asshole. I think I'm good. Don't, Don't worry. worry. It's <laughs> It's just this. Oh, oh, oh. It's just for, the, for people listening. It's basically like a, a bondage thing that looks like a dog face. Which it's, it's, it's a fucking, it's a fucking, fucking gimp suit. Out. It's a, animal gimp suit. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And I was pretty extremely much. weirded out because like, can you fucking blame me? But I was like, hey, look, I was trying to like rationalize <laughs> because like one part, like I could uh, uh, like, <laughs> first off, I was horny, so I didn't really like, just glossed over it in a second. No brain. Like, hey, no brain, you, just go. I got full cum brain going on. Anyways, uh, I just try to like try to rationalize it. Like, hey, maybe it's not so weird. I'm trying new things. What, what's what's the worst that could happen? And that was the second red flag. Mm -hmm. So after getting weirded out by that, a few days speak, uh, pass by and he like mentions something about like, and then he mentions about the location of the sex swing. He <laughs> tells me, <laughs> he fucking tells me, uh, we got... Yeah, my, my, my roommates don't allow people in the house. We're going to have to do it in the garage. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but the, but the, oh, the thing is, the picture, he showed, the, fi the picture he showed me was like, it, it looked like a fully furnished place. Like, And I figured, like, just, just a little bit of context. Like, back when I lived in my parents' house in Florida, like, throughout my childhood, we converted our old garage into a livable room. Like, we put in, like, carpets, put in lighting, stuff like that. So I figured, hey, he was talking about the same thing, so... So that was the third, the third red flag, or four, or I don't really know. I kind of lost track. I was this is better than uh, this is better than what I was picturing, Boo. I thought you were gonna say the sex swing was at his parents' place. <laughs> oh <fucking> God! Something. <laughs> it's it's my dad's, oh, but we God. can borrow it. So. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh, no! Don't worry. Oh, he God. showed me. Don't worry. He showed me how to use it. <laughs> Oh, my God. oh, that's so much worse. <laughs> Shut up. Are you sure you're going to fucking cut this, David? Yeah, yeah that, that's yeah. why I no, wasn't it's that. Fine. That's why I wasn't that uh, revolted when you said garage, because in my head it was much, much worse. Yeah, like I, I like from the pictures you show me, I thought he was like it was like a fully furnished one, like mm -hmm. the one I had. So I so I freaking rationalized it like, hey, that's not so bad. There could be worse places to do it. So, anyways, a few days later, we finally arrange a date, and he. T and he gives me an address, and it's not in the main, in the closest town where there's actual civilization. It's a little bit outwards on the fucking freeway. Mm -hmm. You're gonna die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like it was in a, like it was one, it was on one of the fucking houses, and like it was a little bit ways away. So I was like, uh, okay. But considering like the investment already put into this, I figured, hey, I'm also just show up, see what happens. Fuck it, why not? So, like, in the night of, I, just in case some sex shenanigans were going to happen, uh, I, brought a, I brought a pocket knife and put it in my back pocket. What? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Look, 
Could you fucking blame me though? I'm no, going out no, 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 I can't. Because I, I, I would have probably done the I same. I mean, I kind of blame you the moment he but said, I don't think, "Oh I, yeah, yeah I, I, I have this dog's head that I put on." That's when I would uh, yeah, fucking I, go. You can't, no thanks. I don't fucking kink shame people unless they're like fucking pedophiles. Oh uh, yeah, dude. So I fucking love. I fucking love Paw. I fucking love Paw Patrol, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this makes it for, so much fucking worse. For context, oh. David just posted a Paw Patrol mask. <laughs> <laughs> I just I want to make that very clear. I want to I want to I want to just say that David is saying that maybe if you use the Paw Patrol mask as a sex mask, it would be replacing the Gimp mask. I'm explaining the joke that hey, happened ba- here. Hey baby, you, sure you want to come should? over? I got my Street Sharks costume in the garage. I got all seasons of Paw Patrol on Blu-ray. Let's go. <laughs> Listen, while I, the I dog's on, there were a lot of while the dog's on. Know. I raw dog, let's go. <laughs> anyway, Boo, uh, can, anyways, continue. The hills have eyes. <laughs> yes, I will. Unfortunately, I will. So, anyway, the night finally came around like one, like 11 p.m. I fucking say goodbye to my dog <laughs> just in case anything happens. I put the knife back into my pocket and then I drive off into town. And when I arrived there, the fucking, okay, so there was the house and there was a side garage. Mm-hmm. And the house was completely fucking dead dark. You, like, it was like completely silent. The only thing you could hear was like the chirps and toads, like in the swamps and in the back. So there's, there's swamps in New York. Well, I, not really, but it just sounded like one. Uh. So I sat, I sat in the car for a few minutes debating. Is this going to be fucking worth it? Should I no. do this? No. <laughs> yeah. That, I, that's what that's the thought I should have followed dude on, but I figured... Oh. Uh, listen, I came all this way. I might as well just see what the fuck the deal is and just gauge He told it. you what the deal is. <laughs> yeah, It's a garage yeah, with a Paw Patrol mask and a fucking <laughs> sex no, no, he didn't. circus. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. I was giving him the benefit of the doubt because you... Like, you don't know how fucking... Uh, it was my first time of it. I didn't there really was know. no benefit or doubt. He laid his cards out on the table. He went, oh, by the way, I have really weird shit in my house. <laughs> I don't well, know. Look, my, brain, just- my brain might be so broken, but I don't know. I don't think a sex swing and, like, a gimp dog mask is, like, that bad. Like, if he, like, bopped out, like, the inflatable latex suit, then I'd be like, oh, my fucking God, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that a lot. Would- but, like, a sex yeah, swing and a dog, dog gimp mask, mask isn't that, out of like, real dog skin. Yeah, like, something like that. But, like, oh, just a dog God. mask and a sex swing, I don't think that's too far. I think that's, like, pretty normal kink territory there. Uh, I'm yeah, like, that, that's yeah. the mindset I had, but then I fucking saw what really happened. Oh. So I fucking went into the into the garage, and it was just a fucking mess. There were like tra- there were like fucking tractors, lawnmowers, piles <laughs> of fucking sawed all over the place. Fucking, and I was like, what the fuck? And then I went, what? Hey, uh, are you here? <laughs> like, it was an actual garage, so the fucking image I had in my head was completely wrong. But I fucking call out to the guy, hey, anybody here? And I fucking hear upstairs, hey, I'm up here. I'm ready when you are. And I was like, (laughs) 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 and they fucking, I was extremely hesitant, but I just, I didn't know what what was fucking going through my mind, but okay, I just have to see this. I have to see, I have to see it to the end. I have to double down like Brendan does on Fallout 76. Yeah. So, all right. So I went up the stairs, which I could barely fit in. It was like extremely narrow, even narrower than my regular door. So I could barely fit up the stairs. And when I came up there, what I saw was it was a fucking horror. It was it was the imagery of a, it was literally just an attic. It was a fucking attic of like insulation coming out of the walls, like fucking uh, de- Christmas decorations, some other fucking miscellaneous stuff, and in the center was this fucking guy, and he was just sitting there. No, he wasn't even sitting there. He was fucking on his knees, just waiting, looking up of his pearly blue eyes, and a fucking long, gangly beard, fucking growing underneath the mask in a fucking gremlinoid body, with the sex swing uh. ominous, <laughs> with the sweat, with the sex swing ominously shaking and creaking behind him. And when I came there, I fucking, I, I gazed the surroundings and I, like, 
just to see. Oh uh, fuck. Okay. And at this point, I knew I definitely couldn't fucking do this. So <laughs> yeah, like, you think? Yeah. What? <laughs> what what was it that tipped you off that you couldn't do it? Uh, that's the, the horror movie setting. Yeah, that and the fucking mask. But I mean, for I me, at the moment like, I go to a house and I see a fucking tractor, I go, I'm <laughs> not getting laid. I'm not okay. banging whoever owns this home. <laughs> they own a tractor. Okay. <laughs> yeah. you, have a, you have a point. You have a fucking point. So I was just sit. I was just standing there for like a solid two minutes, just like mouth agape and <laughs> eyes wide open. And he was just sitting there as silent as he could be, waiting at the command. And I was like, uh, "What the fuck?" And he finally is like, in the night, in a fucking decent and actually normal voice, "Is everything okay?" I was like, uh, yeah, I just, <laughs> I just got to sit down for a moment. And I fucking sat down over by the fucking, he had a couple chairs set up. They were like, not the fucking dingy wrestling set chairs. Up. No, like, apparently, like, this is just hangout pad. So we just had regular, so like, a sofa just up there for some reason. So I fucking sat down and this fucking gremlinoid aberration skitters across the floor on all fours and starts rubbing oh. his head against my thigh. What? Oh, no. and nice. Like, and for a split second, my hand went over to my back pocket to grab the pocket knife, but then I fucking came back to my senses, got up and was like, okay, dude, I can't fucking do this. I I I'm sorry. And he just looks so fucking sad. And I did, but I didn't care at all. I fucking sprinted down the stairs, got into my car before he can get out and grab the guns, and I just drove off. And when I got back into the town, there was a Wendy's still open. So I fucking got some fries, got a little frosty, just sat there for 30 minutes while I deleted my entire grinder account, <laughs> and then I went home. I can't believe you I can't believe you did that when he was doing his sad puppy eyes, dude. Dude. Dude, there's there's a line you got to cross, man. There's a line you never have to cross, <laughs> okay. man. I know the line you can't cross. So yeah, that's my first and last time of grinding. If like the setting was different, like if it was like a normal garage with the same like person and sex wing. Yeah, exactly. Like, but it was a complete deception. He played me like a fool. They, I just, I just expected kind of you to just go, and then I got punched in the back of the head while an old guy said, "Welcome to the family, son." <laughs> That, that was where I thought this was gonna go. It just turns into fucking Resident Evil fucking seven. Yeah. Dude. No, that would have been the more interesting one. The moment you said house on the freeway, tractor, sex swing in the attic. <laughs> like, that's the prologue. That's like <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibes, dude. Yeah, it really was. I don't know what I was fucking you, thinking. You are lucky to be alive. I am very lucky. Cause I've been infected by cum I'm pretty and sure Because I'm, I'm pretty sure Matty McCann is buried under that tractor. Oh, he absolutely is. Oh, nice! <laughs> nice! Uh, 40 minutes. I was too, Perfect. Woo. I was too distracted by the goblin and his fucking five foot beard to notice, but yeah, he was totally there. Uh, uh, like no one laughed. I just went, nice, Ed, you remembered. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit. Don't worry. Can David we, David will add uh, laughs in post. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll add, I'll no, add like crowd laugh at laughing. This. Nobody can should I laugh be, at this. Uh, can, can we stop real quick? Because uh, the thing is, I need to go refund. I just bought like a fuck ton of sex swings and Paw Patrol masks. Because I thought you'd like it. Uh, David. I, I was, David. It, David. Don't. It was for... It was for... An, it was for our, our anniversary. I'm sorry. David, clearly, as long as the lighting's fine, you're good. Yeah. As long oh, as the yeah, lighting's I, fine I, and you listen, don't have a beard. What? The beard is apparently the, the fucking line. Listen, just lay down some carpet, keep everything ni nice and tidy, spray some Febreze, <laughs> and we're good to go. Like, how the fuck, oh, like, okay, for cool. me, like, like, I'm fine. The rest of this stuff is kinky, sure. But, like, how can you f t contemplate fucking a farmer? That, I'm, no. <laughs> He wasn't even a farmer. He was just some guy. He never told me he was the a farmer. The moment you have a tractor, you're a farmer. What? Uh, what are you like against farmers only? It's just or weird. Well, like, I mean, Ed, I lived on a farm and like we weren't farmers. We just rented the farm, but there were tractors there that weren't ours. Like, so, you like, don't know. I'm not like a farmer. <laughs> yeah, plus the fact... Plus, that tractor could have belonged to one of his roommates that was sleeping soundly in the house next door. Yeah, he could use that, that to get to his like day oh job at the Denny's. <laughs> he was sleeping exactly. soundly on the swing. 
<laughs> yeah, dead ass. No, dead ass. People fucking drive their tractors to work in the area I am. I, I'm in. It fucking happens. What? It's plausible. What the fuck? I, I just can't. The, can't I, live in like I just the, don't like the, the right, image of I'm horny gonna, farmer. I'm, I live in the fucking butthole of the Midwest, and I've never <laughs> seen anyone drive a fucking tractor to work. That offended me so much. That's, that offended that's so me. Fucking I live, weird. I have lived in farming communities, boo, like throughout my entire life, and I've never seen well once. I've seen it once. I've had too many fucking instances of driving on the freeway and some fucking asshole and his tractor was slowing down to like 20 miles per hour. Well, it's it like they're not happens, going, dude. they're not wearing like a Burger King outfit while they're doing it. They're going to their farm <laughs> job on the farm. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. They're going to work on the yeah. farm because they have a tractor. Yeah. What do you I, mean, I, I, in my head, a tractor on the in my head when you said that, I imagined someone in a full McDonald's uniform driving a tractor into the city to work. That's what there, like my no, head some, came up with. I can outpace a tractor <laughs> by walking. Why would you take exactly. it to the freeway? Listen, they don't have any other choice. They're out in bumfuck nowhere, and they got and they, they got to fucking go. A the horse route. would be faster. Exactly, but I they're mean, not gonna. A, a house, a horse can't till your crops. How are you gonna get the horse there? I'm I not mean, you can tell. You can tell a good farmer by a shitty farmer if they pull over to the side of the road if people are getting too much on their ass on the freeway. And they never do. They never fucking they, do. Yeah, they do here, but like I don't know. We're we got we got some nice nice people down here. Sometimes I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I, overall the drivers in the fucking south are way fucking worse. But th there are tractor folk just roaming around. So yeah, it is plausible. I'm not fucking crazy. You're not crazy. <laughs> you You're not <laughs> crazy. I I, I, I like you. I said I, I misinterpreted what you said, so I will apologize. It's cool. It's cool. Okay. It's all right. Cool. We Gucci. Okay. We Gucci. Yeah. Hell yeah. We Gucci, all right. Man. Uh, I don't know. I don't have like any dating app stories. Like I, Shelby and I have been together for seven years. So like the time when dating apps started to become like a really big thing was around the time when we started dating. So like I never used Tinder or Grindr. Uh, I once had like a, like an encounter on my yearbook. My oh. yearbook? So what is that? It was like a website that like I used because one of my cousins used it and she like, basically was one of these people who's like, oh, no, you got to get on there and play like the games and like give me the points. So I like would get on there and I'd like friend people in the area. And there was oh. this one like girl in high school who uh, when I was in high school uh, just would constantly like message me asking to play the basketball game. And it was just uh, like it was just a really weird experience because like she would flirt. And then just, all right, hey, we're going to play the basketball game. Like, it's like, <laughs> it's 4 p.m. It's 4 a.m., honey. It's time for the basketball game. You got to rack up some points. Like, I don't know. I'm like, and like, relationship wise in high school, I don't know. Like, I just, I, 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 I'm a bit old, I guess. I'm 27 now. So I, I didn't have a cell phone until college. So I didn't really experience the like fun and exciting world of being catfished. So. Or dogfished yeah, as as boo. Yourself lucky. Oh yourself my god! Lucky. <laughs> I fucking hate that term, dogfish. I, I don't know. There so was much. like, there was like, I kind of like it. There was like a dinosaur girl, I guess. What? What? So, okay. Was I she the fossil dealer. I maybe she was the fossil dealer. I had her in my phone as dinosaur dinosaur girl all the way up until when I changed my number and I got rid of like a lot of numbers. I had this girl's phone number until like then. Just out of sheer, like, oh, I forgot, dinosaur girl. Who the fu Oh, and I deleted it last year when I changed my number. Uh, so back when I was in high school, uh, I used to do like speech. Now, for those of you who don't know what speech is, essentially it could be like a speech class. Uh, ours was like a club. So in speech, what it did, what you did was you would go and you do like individual improv, group improv, uh, radio announcing. Uh, basically, you would pick something that involved like public speaking. Or, 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 or comedy or like one act. Uh, some people did monologues and it was like a state and then national competition, right? To, to set the setting. So I did individual improv and group improv because I, you know, I thought I was the funniest fucking thing on the planet. Um, <laughs> and I uh, went to a uh, state competition for group improv with, with my group. Uh, one of my, it was me, my ex-girlfriend's twin sister and uh, one of the, one of the, juniors uh colby uh who's the funniest guy in the goddamn world but one of the most awkward people in the world so we had to use him because he was our powerhouse so 
we we went we did the competition and this is a different school so when you do these competitions you drive to a different school and uh one of the things was you interact with a lot of kids from a different lot of different high schools and a lot of them are are doing like the general edgy shit like some people are doing individual improv and their whole joke is uh-huh, I'm Justin Bieber. Ha <laughs> yeah, ha <laughs> ha. Wow, I'm Justin Bieber. You're like it's like, oh, okay, you're a, you're a, you're a, you're a, you're a grocery store worker at the grocery store. Here's your setting. Do do this uh and and there's a famous football player who comes to visit the grocery store and you awkwardly react. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm, I'm Justin Bieber. I'm at the grocery store. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha famous tennis player. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. You will never look up. That sounds extremely accurate. That sounds extremely accurate to when I was doing it. Look up like speech competitions if you can find videos and it's some of the most awkward, most horrible shit. But then again, you got to remember, this is all high school. So like, we're all kids. We don't know what to do. Uh, I was pretty okay. Like we got all ones for our group, which was great. We just didn't get to go to uh, like, like the, the national competitions. Like we didn't get to go to like the big place, but we got a good score. So I leave and I'm like talking with some other kids and there's this girl sitting down and she's playing with dinosaurs, like plastic little dinosaurs, right? Oh my God. <laughs> and she like <laughs> gets up and she is like the, the, tiniest like little high schooler she's older than me i'm a junior at this point she's a senior and we're like talking and she's like laughing at everything i'm saying and at this point i hadn't like dated really like like i said my ex-girlfriend sister but it was ex-girlfriend after so i didn't know how to interact with girls because i grew up pretty sheltered so we're just like talking and i'm like hey can i have your facebook number she's like what yeah sure here you go here's facebook so we, we you know got on facebook messenger i got her phone number but then she just starts like doing the whole like i miss you I can't live without you. Oh, I need God. you. Oh. I'm like, what? we're not like dating. We're just talking. I don't know how to handle this. So just like there's a story that I read on my channel a long time ago uh, called Denko. And in Denko, the, the, the uh, protagonist or antagonist was sending this girl 500 emails a day. I was getting 30 to 40 texts a day from this girl and then 30 Jeez. to 40 Facebook messages from this girl. Just a constant stream of, hey, what are you doing? Hey, how's it going? Hey, hey what, 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 do you, what do you think about this picture? What do you think about this picture? And she was not um, not completely like all there. So I just no contact, like I just went fully, I went Danny Phantom, I fully went ghost. Um, but like just weird bursts of contact would appear after she'd like see my like Facebook uh, relationship status change on, on Facebook when I did start dating and I did oh, start no. like getting with girls and breaking up with them. And every time it would be like a burst of messages and then stop and then a burst of messages and then stop. And then just, uh, you know, it just went no contact. And I just, I just had fear. I just had a lot of like, <laughs> just, just a lot of fear. fear. <laughs> like I didn't want to wake up and hear like the clicking of plastic dinosaurs because she was just ab absolutely <laughs> obsessed with them. Wait, did she make noises too? Yeah. Yeah. She would make like the, <laughs> And sometimes like like <laughs> she'd call and we talk and then like it'd be like a 10 minute phone conversation with nine minutes of silence. And like I'm a pretty talkative guy. So it was just me trying to be like, I have a I went, to, I went to McDonald's. I'm Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> I went to McDonald's recently. Ha <laughs> ha. How was how was that? Like I uh, ate a delicious burger. Uh. Silence. Breathing. <sighs> so I don't know. Like I I I I I I. I I don't know how uh, still to communicate with people, but it was just a, a an experience for me. I think that just uh, sits in the back of my head. Like one day she's just going to appear and then I'm just going to have to deal with the <gasps> Don't go away. Well, you, you would, you, you would, you would hear the fucking plastic dinosaurs. Like I would hear them coming before yeah. you see her. Yeah. Yeah. You would I'd hear, hear the coming. clicking and the clacking. You could yeah. prepare. You would, you would be prepared. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's my experience with like a, dating i don't know i didn't have like a I, I don't think i ever really like shopped around really so like a lot of the a lot of the awkward stories and, and nightmare stories uh really come if you're like shopping around or if you're like dating but i just kind of fall into relationships like whoop here we go up oh, here we go up oh, here we go i'm gonna be real brendan yeah. that story actually made me more uneasy than booze because with booze <laughs> i started just imagining yeah. that oh this is all of this is fiction and like any rational human being would have you know dropped out yeah, after hearing think. about the, the I, dog I, I, mask. I, yeah. Here's the thing is like, I wanted to be nice and I wanted to keep contact because yeah. she had like, no, she, I had, feel that. she had risk scars too. So it was one of those things where you want to be like supportive of someone. And I, I can be someone who's very like, um, I, I, I don't want to be mean to someone who's like broken because you want to make sure that they don't do anything rash. So a lot of it was just me 
like never dating, but just like being supportive and being like, oh, yeah, no, I'm listening. Uh, yeah, we're, we're friends. Just friend zoning her constantly. It's mm. like it's like it's like making sure you keep the equilibrium. Like you have to keep the equal. You don't want it to date, but you don't want to like set someone off to the point where like they're going to do something drastic. So very, very oh, anxiety God. induced, like very anxiety. Thing is, it's like I get in a relationship and just all contact would disappear. Like just she would go Danny Phantom just off into the ether. But like the second I was single, it's like, boom, she was there. I've already talked about this story, Brendan, but I was going to mention I was going to mention how um because that that made me really uncomfortable because it kept reminding me of I don't think you were on this episode, but I told this story. No, you weren't. It, it was actually it was one of the it was one of the first episodes and it, it's been a while. Oh, really? OK, it, it was it was like, yeah, I think it was like, please stop talking 19 or some shit. Jesus, you know, the number it's a, it's a while ago. Um, But yeah, well, I, I was thinking I, of, I remember because it was a has It was a fucking nightmare to edit. Oh, was That's it? the only oh. reason why. Um, Yeah. yeah. The, of this one time that I was it was in my days of I don't want to tell a story again, but basically it reminded me of this girl that I made out with and she got like super attached like oh we're dating now right and I was like haha no but let's stay friends because you look crazy <sighs> yeah that, that reminded me of that quite a lot yeah. nothing is like I don't know it what I dating in high school like I I still am, am happy that like I found Shelby because I think I'm just such a human mess that like I don't want to be in like in some kind of like weird relationship because like before Shelby like my dating experience was after my ex from high school broke up with me in college there was this girl that like i i never understood like the the people who were obsessed with people like until like i met this girl and this is gonna this, this will be a little cringy but it's nothing like so bad that it's terrible so there was this girl and it's we'll say high school you gotta pass no this is this is college yeah. now we me and my oh, out of high school oh. girlfriend dated for two years oh. so in community college there was this girl I just got broken up with with, with uh, my long distance girlfriend at the time because uh, we were, you know, different people, different folks, different strokes. And there was this girl. Uh, we'll call her Katie because I don't want to say her name, real name. So Katie uh, was interested in me. And I and I heard about this from her mutual friends and our mutual friends. And it was one of those situations where, like, I was into her. She was kind of into me. But like our friends were pushing us together so much. So in my head, I got like this. Oh, we're going to be dating and it's going to be so cool and it's going to be the best. And so, like, I was full blown. I have never been such a simp in my goddamn life until that <laughs> moment. I was. Here's the thing. I didn't drive. I still don't drive. So I would walk down to the grocery store, buy her chocolates, walk back up like a 40 minute walk, set them on her car. I bought her roses like once a week and would set them on her car because we all lived in the dorms. I was I was texting her all in haiku. I, oh. I was like writing her poetry. Oh, what? What? oh Brandon, what? I, Yeah, no. I was texting her only in haikus like a couple days because I thought, oh, this is the cutest oh. thing in the world. This is this is, this is so cute. <laughs> I got the you fucking you went to Uber sit mode. I like, went like in Uber sit mode, and I knew I was because like it was at the point where like Snapchat had just started to become a thing, and so like when I would snap her. Uh, and I wouldn't get like a snap back. I would get queasy and like throw up and like I, I couldn't Jesus. handle like the anxiety of like waiting Yeesh. for someone to text back and message me back. Like oh, I was boy, I was in such next level a bad shit, place. Dude. Like we we would um like I think the, the farthest we got was like we went to uh we used to go to this uh like like uh beach and this beach was near a campsite, so cops didn't patrol it. And me and this friend group, we would go and get drunk and hang out and uh essentially like we we would hang out and chill out and you know we 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 got a little bit far we had a conversation and it was really cute and you know i asked her out on a date we went on a couple little like we went on like a little date and she was she was still like hung up over her ex and 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 so we were talking like we watched like five episodes of nichi joe in my dorm you know watching anime in the dorm pretty epic uh and then like <laughs> it got to this like boiling point where i was just so frustrated and then like the obsession disappeared like it just was gone. Like I was like, why am I putting this much effort? Cause this is like a two month period where I'm like, like, like trying my hardest, like to initiate something. Cause I just didn't understand. Cause I hadn't had sex at this point either. Like we did like a, we did like a, that group did like a drinking game where it's like, Oh, time to tell like weird sex stories and then drink. And I was just like out of 15 people there all in our like 19, we were all like 19, 20, 21. I, uh, I was the only virgin. So. Mm. I was like, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. So like it all came to a boil and then I just stopped. Like I stopped like simping. I stopped caring. 
you know, I, I tried to be like, hey, or do you want to actually make this a relationship? Do you want to do something with this? And then one day uh, I heard that there was this girl that I kind of had a crush on uh, in college. And this this girl was someone that I like would look at from afar and be like, oh, she cute. And uh, but I was dating my long distance girlfriend at the time. So like I, I didn't want to do anything because I was like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm with I'm with M. I don't want to do anything weird. So this girl's like, oh, you know, this girl also has a crush on you. Uh, her name is Shelby. And <laughs> and then it's all good stuff uh. from there. Oh. Stop simping. Got with Shelby. Good times. Still with Shelby. Love her to death. Best decision I made in my life. But yeah, I uh, I went really really hardcore into simp mode. It was it was a lot. I uh, I would also draw pictures and like post the, post them on post it notes around like her friend's dorm. So when she came <laughs> over, <laughs> she would the see fuck? them. Yeah, oh, I was God. I I because well, I don't know I I I. I don't understand how people work still sometimes. So like my life is like, I didn't like understand social relationships until college, like college beat, beat the, beat the idea of how to deal with people into me. I think the worst thing I, I did for somebody was, uh, I used to, I used to go around and kill rats and send what? them to boo. Yeah. I, I used to send them to boo in the mail. Oh, and okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. David, <laughs> Jesus you're just, Christ. You're just doing uh, a funny, you're just trying to be He's funny, just doing okay. a funny bit. Like, I was like, oh, David, <laughs> he's a rat killer. Great. <laughs> no. <laughs> the weirdest simpy thing I did for someone? I mean, I think I, mine was just the classic give her chocolates. You know, that's about it. And I, I mean, when I'm talking bad. like, when I say I went down to like the grocery store and like set like gifts down, it was like every day for a month. Yeah. I I'm talking like that. like obsessive like oh she'll love this she'll love this so I understand why like things didn't work out because I was it, pretty much I feel like almost in psycho territory I was I think I was pretty simpy before we started dating what mean you yeah, Wait, <laughs> yeah <laughs> no with boo I was pretty simpy what? simpy how oh, like, I just remember one. Simpy I like, or? I, like going to the quickie mart like like pretty simpson -y. No, I, I think I, I think I was I was a bit simpy, right? What's simp anyways? Like that's like white knighting, <laughs> like white knighting, like worshiping. Was no, that, no, it's not the same as white. White knighting is defending. You, simping is worshiping. He simping is worshiping. Yeah. Uh, what would gay simping uh, be uh, be called? Gimping. <laughs> you laid it out. You laid it out right there. Nice. Um, I just remembered my worst one, and it doesn't even go in the way that you think it's gonna go. So for me, uh, I was around like 12 or 13. There was this girl that was on my bus route. Super cute. Um, and oh my God, I just had a fucking epiphany. <laughs> All right, but I'll, I'll get to oh it. Oh boy. Um, su super uh, cute girl who's on my bus route. We always sat next to each other. We always talked about like our days, whatever. It was great. We were very clearly into each other. And then she tells me that, oh, my parents are going to be away. Uh, and I'm going to have a party. And I'm go only inviting my... Uh, my closest friends, do you want to go? And I'm like, oh, yeah, hell yeah. And I told my mom that this like girl I liked invited me to a party. And she went, oh, you should bring her something nice when you go to the party. So I bought her these like really nice earrings. And then I showed up at the party. She answered the door. She's like, oh, my God, oh, you're here. And then I gave her the earrings. She loved them. And then uh, that was I was not aware as a 12 year old that this was the moment of my life where parties would start to have alcohol in them, especially <laughs> considering I was 12 oh to 13. Whoa. And then mm. I got pretty drunk and I made out with every single girl except for her. Oh, Jesus man, Christ. that sounds that sounds like Ed, dude. That <laughs> you know like what my you. epiphany yeah. was? What? What? You remember that story I mentioned a while back where uh, I saw some college friends recently and behind the group of people was a girl that looked like the grudge. Yeah. Oh, that was What's her. Oh my oh, fucking oh, god! Dude. Holy shit! Oh, that ain't good. Man, these episodes really are full circle. That's crazy. It all comes back. Speaking of everything coming back, <laughs> let's go to patron questions. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of people that look like the Grudge, let's go to patron <laughs> questions. <laughs> So if you're part of the ten uh, five dollars and above tiers, David, they know the it's in the name. It's for new people. Ask. Wait, well, who? These fellow gimps and simps ask. No. Nah. <laughs> Yellow snub asks. You all shrink to one percent in size. What do you do now? Oh, I start a podcast called Please Stop Talking. 
Wow, nice, nice, dude. I get it. It's because I get it. It's because I'm short. Yeah, no, dude, it's fine. Haha, ha, 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 he's short. Uh, Haha. Ha. Yeah, thanks, Avery. I I just realized everybody here is like above six, and I'm just five six. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're surrounded by giants. I don't know how I, I don't know like, how Avery could capitalize on that joke even more. Like I don't think he knew the the people that were going to be on the podcast, but he wrote this script like a month ago. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, he, uh, the 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 craziest part is that we all we we he wrote like he didn't even write names. He just, <laughs> he just we're we're all like number one, number two, number four, and number three. I what did I say that in? A, uh, I I, I can tell what part funny. would be for Mandy though because he wrote it in the Oblivion Daedric alphabet song. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, feel free to answer Yellow Snub's question. I just picked it because I wanted to do that joke answer. Let's have a tiny adventure. Yeah, tiny adventure. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have a tiny adventure. May, I'm gonna create go, Stuart like, Little. Oh, fuck Stuart Little. Yeah. I hate oh, Stuart Little. Dude, I would, fuck Stuart Little. I would fucking love. No, shut up. I would fucking love. <laughs> I would fucking love to go in one of those like race cars. Yeah, that are made of cheese. That Stuart. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking, talking about? Talking about mousetrap. I'm not no, talking like about the Stuart Little anymore. No, like Stuart Little had uh, had his fucking like little car he would drive around. That's sick, dude. Yeah. Yo, where the fuck did they find I, I that? Would, I would find the actors that were in mousetrap and I would haunt them. <laughs> One percent size is like actually one percent size is because the whole tiny. stick with yeah, mousetrap like is two guys trapped in a mansion That's and there's a mouse fucking with them. I just be a little man fucking with them again. All right. I have a, I have a Patreon question from uh, Devin the sauce. Everyone podcast member is put in the situation of until dawn. If you're unfamiliar, all of you on top of a mountain with a monster in the middle of the night. And the only way to survive is to wait until dawn. I'm just going to start running, pick a direction and run. Yeah. That's pretty much it, the only thing. Well, you can wait, do. wait. Oh, so I mean, this is basically just like we're in a fight Friday the 13th. Yeah. 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 Easy so, to say. So, so, so when do you go? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm just going to start fucking what? like I, I'd rather I, I just want to die. I'll just start fucking. That's how you die in movies. Number one rule of movie. I, I, just, I mean, I start, I start fucking with people, not fucking them per se. Never drink or smoke drugs. I mean, if we're at like but Hunter S. Thompson's, if we're at like Hunter S. Thompson's like mountaintop retreat, I'm just going to find his ghillie suit and hide in the woods. You can never have sex. You can never drink I, I would or do make, drugs I would, and I would never. start fucking with people and make them like hate each other, make them all like kill and eat each other. And then I'd be the last man standing. And then the Wendigo can just have the, the sloppy seconds. When, is it, wait, is the Wendigo, can I talk to the Wendigo no, no. or is the Wendigo in until, why? Because it's a Wendigo. Because it's a Wendigo. Why? What, what's a Wendigo? It's like a weird a deer, zombie man. that can jump fast. I mean, honestly, here's the thing. Start a forest fire. Fuck it. I almost fucked yeah, the fuck one to go in the fucking tractor garage. So. Here's the thing. You start a forest fire and there will be someone monitoring the situation. Like if you are out in the woods and there is some fucked up shit and you have the the capacity and the tools. If you're in a house, there's going to be some way to start a fire. You start a fire out in the woods and someone will find it. But, but I thought I thought until dawn had like a not a Wendigo. I thought there was also a serial killer, like an actual serial killer in that game. So right? the three things that were in until crazy? dawn is there was there was a dude at like the the the, the mental asylum. One of the the psycho. One of the one of the guys. Right. There was a quote unquote serial killer, but it was one of the like group mates. Uh, spoiler for until dawn because his sisters died and he was angry at the group and he was originally the reason why they brought the group to the uh, mountain for the in the first place. Uh, and he was dressing up as a as a killer and like uh, a, like fake deathing and like trying to like scare the shit out of them and also maybe kill them. Yeah, but there was also I, a Wendigo. He, he definitely kills people because I saw him kill people. In, no, it was in, in it was scene. all fake. He no. never killed anyone. Yeah, it was all the oh bruise. shit, dang. Because mm -hmm. I know there was like there there was like a, the the patient, the killer, and then the Wendigo. Oh well, I don't know much about that game. Anyways. How sure are you that how many window? There's a fuck ton of Wendigos, right? There's not one. There's like a there's bunch. There's two. Not really? There's there's like two. Yeah. Oh shit. One of them is like the cannibal, and then I think the other one is like a. The, one like of them is patient zero. The other one yeah. is the girl that died at the start of the game. Mm -hmm. Do they? What do they not want to just like? What if I had a, a piece of steak and I just drop it? They don't. They, they no, crave they human flesh. You. They they yeah. they're also they have T Rex rules. They don't see you if you're not moving. Oh, well, I, I would just die, and then I wouldn't move. Wouldn't you just not move so you don't die? Oh, I could do that as well, I guess. I mean, here's the thing. Game mechanics, then you're going to just have to take a shit. Oh, David, yeah. David Cage, I mean, if I, David Cage is going to teleport shit You're not moving if you shit yourself. 
Bro, fucking. I mean, I think, I think the. Oh my oh, fucking yeah. god. That is getting censored. I'm not even <laughs> with that guy. I'm not okay. even. Okay, are we doing a, are we doing a next question? Yeah, next question. <laughs> All right, Rancis Grand Lupu says, "What would the podcast members' real life stats be? D and D stats, but in real life, uh, mine would be brains one hundred, uh, <laughs> intelligence yeah, twelve, not. charisma thirteen, uh, wisdom one. I don't know what the fuck would uh, I? I feel like y'all got to choose for me because I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay, my dexterity like, would be pretty. Let's each pick a stat for David." And we just like fucking roll a new character for him. Charisma 10. Right, that's Eyesight like, minus 7. <laughs> that's Dex <laughs> Dexterity fucking 15. 15 dexterity. Have you ever seen me try to do any? I can't eat. When I'm right. Yesterday I was writing a letter like with with a pen. And I was just struggling hard because I just keep You're going to give the guy that can't reach the cookie jar 15 dexterity? Yeah, well, to, yeah, well, yeah, to be yeah. fair, he was skating while drunk, so... I, oh, oh, yeah, wow. when I called you at 4 a.m. That's actually pretty whatever, impressive. You got... Because I... I, yeah. I, I, I was really I, I can't do that. I, was I crashed a lime scooter multiple times when I was drunk. It's because I, I used to do it when I was super fucking high, and now I, I can just skateboard anytime, anywhere, under the influence or not. It's my superpower. Wisdom four, intelligence four, strength five. <laughs> Man, I'm not. I'm nothing. Damn. Oh, good. You. I'm a. Bad, you can get a. I'm a bad roll. I gotta re. I, somebody gotta re-roll this shit. We can give you a boner roll, but like, like, you're not gonna be able to know what target you're supposed to hit. <laughs> oh, this one's good, especially because uh, he gets cheeky with it at the, at the uh, start. Vanderick asks all the PST hosts, including Cameron, move in together. <laughs> Who's the first one to move out, and how long does it take? I'd say me the first week because I'd rather live with Shelby. So okay, but that let, let's say that's not a okay, thing. Okay. Let's say yeah, that's let's not say a we're thing. all single okay, and miserable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're all single, miserable. Do we do it with the main hosts or with guests? That's no, the host. I'd say main hosts. Yeah, because that be would sure. that would be cheating for me. Um, uh, who? I, hmm. <laughs> Who I feel like I feel like it would I'm, no I'm pretty, I, I want to say I'm it'd be hard. Cameron but at the same time we give Cameron so much shit and he's still smiling through it all I think he'd be the last person if, yeah I think he'd be a, the last person in that house just to spite all of us but the thing is I don't give a shit at all ever and I don't think I can I care much about what people do like I don't have a problem with anybody I don't think yeah mm. uh, I think I, I think I'll be I'll be dirt honest. I think I get kicked out because I'm a little messy. So. You're not that messy. You're always the one that that's cleaning up after yeah. we get drunk. Only because I'm so messy at home. So w maybe Mandy. No, the see, if is, Mandy I, I, left, he would come back and hide in a crawl space. Me, me and David It'd literally be like the shared board. a bed for yeah, like he would, almost he would a week. Be hiding. <laughs> Wait, what? Fucking we packs. would share a bed. No, as in I'm talking about packs. Oh yeah, we. I mean, I I didn't have any problems. Yeah, exactly. So I think me and you would be good. I'm trying to think of who move out first. I think I think I'd be good with Avery. Avery's really not difficult. No, I live to with live Avery with. for like half a year. No, he's perfect. He's not hard. Yeah, to live absolutely with. not. I don't think any any. I don't think any of us is hard. Like is hard to live with. Kyle, did you start a fire again in the middle of the house? I mean, okay, maybe Kyle would leave because may we're fucking immature and he would be like, I'm done with this. Uh, I don't know. This is hard because, like, you don't know what your friends, like, here's the, like, if you base it off are of like, bad living habits, you don't know what your friends are, like, capable of in terms of, like, how awful they can be. No, here's the thing. I think it would be Cameron, but he wouldn't move out because we were tilting him. I think we would kick him out because... He would start. You tilt him. He was no. He would start <laughs> treating the house like he treats showing up on time. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit, dude! That's fucked that you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would kick the fuck. Cameron, out of did, him. You, did you pay rent? Kick him out. Yeah, yeah, I'll pay rent tomorrow. I mean, rent wouldn't be expensive if we're like twenty people living in a fucking tiny apartment. How big is the apartment? It's a studio. That's a yeah, thing. but that's another. Oh. It's a studio. Yeah, it's a one. Be oh, it's a God. one bed, one bathroom. It's yeah. a studio, and the toilet is in the living room. <laughs> <What is laughs> oh, now that Sims that's house? different. 
Who 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 takes no, the no. worst shit? The toilet that's isn't we, in the living we... room. The toilet is the living room. Oh God, what the fuck? <laughs> Everybody's shit. I was scenario. reading like a Reddit story the other day where someone broke up with their significant other because he wanted to make a human-sized litter box to save water. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Was that oh meeting single? God, dude, what the I fuck? was going through relationship advice because I was bored, and he like apparently this this girl's like significant other was just like getting obsessed with the idea of a human sized litter box, and she kept telling him, no, don't do that. Until she came home, opened up the bedroom door, and there was a giant kiddie pool filled with sand, and he was naked, leaning over it, taking a shit, and then he started screaming, "Close no, the door! Close not- the door!" That is that's not real, dude. That's not real. <laughs> that's like, fucking I, fiction. I, that's, on Reddit, there's a lot of fictional shit happening. I don't give a shit. Happening. I, 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 I don't treat everything as... That. Here's the thing. is Life is boring if you say everything is that happen. You, like, I, don't I get think, the wrong idea. It's powerful imagery, but you gotta set some realistic standards At here. the same time, yeah. too, you gotta realize that people are fucking weird and stupid, so I almost believe it. Like, the fact that I've seen two people try to put on their mask over a cigarette, over a lit cigarette... Gives me no hope for this world. St- Wait oh a second. Did he St- put the stuff stuff like actual like box? scientific and medical progress. I do actually look that shit up to see if it's real because people will go on Twitter and go, oh, scientists just found out how to make cells not age or whatever. And I'll be like, yeah, Dude, okay. scientists and I'll, and cured I'll cancer check. finally. Yeah. But when it's shit like, and this might have to be censored, but when it's shit like... Oh Oh my god. I, like I know it's <laughs> fake now, but it's real. Yeah, that shit is real. No, dude. I, that shit is real, but that shit is also getting fucking censored. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like no I don't know. I, I, I think that. um with internet stories, unless they're way too farcical and the writing is too like flowery. Generally, everybody on the bus clap. Yeah, yeah, yeah like shit like that. Generally, yeah. I try to treat things as uh, real until proven fictional. Like I'll read through comments and yeah. then I'll see like the comment posters history and a lot of that stuff is because people are weird. People are 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 weirdos. They're they're degenerates. Like people are just a, a nightmare soup. And I don't know. I think like if you if you're taking everything as like oh that was fake, oh that happened, like. I, it kind of makes life boring. We literally have a podcast yeah. where that's all we do. All of our stories, people could just go, our fucking, oh, that didn't happen. Dude, yeah, yeah. Trust oh, me, you, you, saw, I, I you saw your girl shit herself and then the bus clapped. Yeah, okay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, Dude, a lot of people always... I, I, lo- I love reading the comments because I read every comment on, uh, under the fucking videos and oftentimes I just read somebody that's like, that's fucking bullshit. And I'm like... I, I, if it's one of my stories, I'm like, dude, there were like 20 people there. It's a, it's not even fake. You have witnesses. Or if it's somebody else's story or a Colorado story. I think the fuck. Okay, okay. This is a tangent that's completely opposite. But people on fucking YouTube don't know what it's like to be drunk. Oh. They tell you like, we're like, oh yeah, oh, we yeah. were drunk and we were acting like this. And they're like, you weren't really drunk. That's not how drunk people act. And it's like, dude, what the you're, fuck you're do you know, you 12-year-old? You're forgetting people that watch YouTube videos are 12-year-olds that their only experience with drunk people is through movies. Do you know what how many fathers. comments I fucking got when I had the Paladins Drunk Lore show of people telling me that I was faking it? I know. That's it's the thing insane. that's fucking crazy. Because I, I know you were drunk because then you would go into our fucking per- friends cha- channel and you would be fucking hammered. <laughs> it's just, and you would be like, like they just go, oh, he doesn't sound me. drunk. He's talking way too coherently, and he's not hiccuping and burping all the See, time. I have like the Where's opposite that? thing, where like when I get drunk, I start like slurring a little bit, and I get like almost the stereotypical. No, yeah, that's the thing. I drugs. did slur my words, you but guess what? Streaming. I had to yeah, say streaming. the same fucking sentence over and over and cut the ones where you wouldn't understand what the fuck I was saying because those videos were <laughs> edited. But I was very clearly under the influence. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking get it. Like yeah, I said, like- people, people are desensitized <laughs> to the reality that. Like, things are stupid. Yeah. And so are you. Yeah. But you know who's really stupid? Who? What? The girl reading this. Hey, thanks so much for listening. This episode wouldn't be possible without the help from our patrons, such as Afari Noxa, Agraba Winslow, Alan Diver, Alex Steer, Buckshot Papaya, Dax Ritchie, Devin the Sauce, Dreams of Ice, Duskala, Jeff Smith, Manuel Martinez, Marco Sotelo, Notoriety, Rad Jackal, Ryson, looking fresh though, Ryan Rankin, C. Young, Sky, Spooky Ghost, Teague, 
Travis Vapes, Tyler Collins, Unarmed Toaster, Vanderick, Warped Observer, and Willie Oliver. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>